I should totally take my van to the car wash before I show it to you, but it is what it is. Okay. It is not done. But I got tired of me uh, <laughs> being ready to finish it because I just am not going to do it yet. But I know you guys are anxious. So anyway, um, this is my Ford E250 cargo van that I converted to a camper van. I have... 200 watts of solar on the roof plus 100 that isn't hooked up yet. I don't have a battery for that. I am going to get it. It will be on its separate battery and charge controller. I have a uh, what are they called? Fantastic vent fan inside. As you can see, the trim is not complete. Um, I have a five gallon water jug. This is where I get my water. And this is where I hold my um, fan. But of course, when I use it, I take it out. But it needs to be secured. Um, I have a Dometic. Uh, what are they? Anyway, Dometic 25, uh, CF 25, that's it. And I kind of use that as my nightstand, as you can see. I have uh, my kitchen right here on top of this little uh, dresser I got at Ikea. And there's the little piece of art that I drove over and had to buy a new one. Like I said, it was little, but I loved it. Collect moments and not things and live the simple life. So, that's my kitchen. This is my pantry. And as you can see, I bought um, baby locks to secure the drawers, but I ran out and so I'm still having to use the bungee to keep them shut while I'm driving. This one I don't need to, even though I haven't moved it yet, because I have. Uh, but the one thing you need to be aware is that the tape on these is that comes on them is not good. You have to get some good um, 3M tape, or I got Gorilla Glue tape. Um, that's just like the 3M tape. It's really um, uh, holds holds well. Um, I used some little brackets to uh, keep my refrigerator from sliding around. It's not connected to the refrigerator, just the brackets are connected to the floor. And I did the same thing right there. And as you can see, I already spilled my coffee under that and... Um, We'll just spray. That's why I didn't want to permanently attach the uh, cabinets because of things like this. I would like to be able to um, move that out to clean underneath it, but oh well, it's good enough for now. And I have two more dressers in back. Um, the one on the right is connected back in the corner over there and as you can see it hops around so I need to get some hardware to con connect it to the wall on this side as well so it stays uh, straight. This one is not connected to the wall at all yet so I use a bungee to keep it from toppling over and I have storage under my bed um, I have just this linoleum, and you can see that it's got some ripples there because when I was installing it, I could not lift up the bed to get the uh, floor underneath anymore. It was just too heavy, and 
Micah's going to help me with that, and we just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I still haven't uh, had my comforter cut down to a good size, so you can see it's all messy and bunched up, but it's sure comfortable to sleep with. Um, I just use this for storage. It's connected to the um, cabinet so it doesn't fall down. My little plant up there is also connected. Um, that's how I watch Netflix. Uh, I'm not sure what else um, to talk about. I mean, you guys know me. Oh, one thing I was going to say about having this floor, I love the looks of it. It's so light and easy to sweep and clean, but I sweep it like five times a day and I'm getting really tired of it. So I'm going to get a rug. I don't like the looks of rugs. I don't want to cover up the floor, but it's so much easier to just shake out a little rug. Um, so eventually I am going to get more of the flooring that I put on the floor and the wall behind the kitchen. And I'm going to put it over there and over here. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet, and I really wanted to do that before I showed you guys the reveal, but that's okay. Um, what else? Oh, home. I don't know if you've seen that or not. Anyway, this is my little home. I love it. I can sit in here for hours and um, just, just um, enjoy the view. Speaking of, there's a guy down there fishing. Last year when I was, a, when I was here, there was a, a great blue heron right here on um, this little fence right here. He sat there for a few hours and just hung out. So anyway, thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Leave comments. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thanks.